What to expect from Dota, Dragon's Blood Season 2 Even though the first season of Dota Dragon's Blood just premiered on Netflix, die-hard fans are already eager to find out what's coming next. From the possible release date of Season 2 to the plot twist that might shake fans to the core, here are the things you can expect from Dota Dragon's Blood Season 2. Season 1 before we jump into what might happen in the highly anticipated second season, let's first break down how Dota Dragon's blood won the hearts of millions. The animated TV series was inspired by the 2013 game, Dota 2, or Defense of the Ancients 2. Those of you that may not be familiar with the fan-favorite game, Dota is a multiplayer online battle arena, or a MOBA-based game, that revolves around multiple teams playing for the same objective, to destroy the enemy's team. But what about the newly released Netflix series? What is Dota Dragon's Blood based on? The first season of the anime series focused on the main protagonist, Dragon Knight, and his unforgettable adventure. It is an eight-episode mini-series that was released on the streaming service on March 25, 2021. As described by Netflix, the storyline is as follows. A conflicted yet courageous Dragon Knight must use the power of the dragon within to stop a deadly demon in this epic fantasy based on the online game. If you are a fan of the fantasy genre, then this newly released animated series is for you. From elves to deadly dragons and magic, Dota Dragon's Blood 2 builds a new world for the audience. But while it may be filled with beautiful scenes and breathtaking animations, the animated TV show did receive a mix of reactions and reviews from critics and fans. While many praise Netflix for taking a risk by creating the video game-based series, many diehard Dota fans were left disappointed by the results. Along with intricate storylines and complicated plot twists, here is how the public reacted to the first season and why Dota Dragon's Blood didn't have the best reception. Check out some user reviews that were posted on the show's official MDB page. The overall effort in animation as well as fantasy theme is really the only thing going for this show. The story is not laid out at all. After watching the entire first episode, I still have no idea what world this show is set in or what political or hierarchical society the humans of the show live in. I was apprehensive about this series because of all the previous movies series based on games that have ended in disaster. But I must say I'm pleasantly surprised at the quality of this show. They've clearly taken their inspiration from the game, but the storyline is all new and pretty exciting. At times it can be very dense in storylines, and I'm hoping the next season will take its time a little more to flesh some of them out a little more. For the newcomers, or perhaps, even for those Dota fans but unaware of the depths of its lore, this season will be too hazy or too fragmented. As a typical series taken as it is, this series looks bad. Rooting on someone is looking harder, everyone seems to be immoral or has other reasons for one not to be rooted for. Such element could be explained by the lore later on. As a Dota fan, I liked how fleshed out it is. The plot may become slow but this would mean there will be more focus on character story and development. But even with some disappointed fans, many were more than ecstatic to see some of their favorite video game characters come to life. Impressed and Wonderstruck fans shared. The anime made me appreciate the beauty and complexity of the world the game I love is set in. Seeing all these characters come alive is magical. Specifically regarding the quality of the anime, it well exceeded my expectations. Story is engaging, voice actors do a very good job, animations are great. I am so looking forward to book two. Cleaver, deep, and beautiful the same things we described Dota with. Showed us something glorious and has always left us wanting more. It is wonderful to finally see the stories of the heroes we have been fighting alongside them all these years and many more to come. Season two. Speaking of book two, now that we know a thing or two about season one, let's focus on what fans can expect from the upcoming releases. Even though Netflix has yet to officially announce the Dota Dragon's Blood Season 2, the streaming service did hint at future productions. For starters, the first season of the newly released TV series is titled, Book 1, meaning fans can expect more seasons or books to be produced in the near future. But that's not all. Robert Burnett, who is the main animator-editor of Dota Dragon's Blood, recently went on his YouTube channel to reveal some interesting facts about the upcoming installments. During his live stream with fans, the editor shared how he has been working with the Netflix series since 2019. Burnett also confessed how he has edited a total of 24 episodes for the show, meaning there will be more episodes coming to the streaming service sometime soon. If we consider how the first season featured eight episodes, it's safe to say season two and season three are already produced and edited. 
but when will Book 2 be released on the streaming service? Let's take into account Netflix's release dates and their production schedules. When it comes to original series, the popular streaming service tries to release new seasons every year. As the first season of Dota Dragon's Blood was just dropped in late March of 2021, fans can expect Book 2 to be released sometime in 2022. Maybe even in early spring. Because as it was confirmed by Burnett, 24 episodes have already been planned out in advance. The Plot and Cast Now, let's take a quick look at what Book 2 of Dota Dragon's Blood may bring to the fans. When it comes to the main characters of the show, Season 1 was focused on a couple of heroes. The main protagonist being Davian, the Dragon Knight, who has the ability to transform into the deadly creature. Voiced over by Yuri Lowenthal, Davian's courage and bravery soon won the hearts of millions. Up next, we have Marana, the Princess of the Moon. She is a protector of the Night Silver Woods and a servant of Selamine. The heroine is narrated by Lara Pulver. Another one of Selamine's servants is Luna the Moon Rider. Known for her power and iron fist, Luna is played by Kari Walgren. As far as the infamous Selamine goes, her character is said to have stolen the powers of the original goddess of the moon, Mean, and has since dominated over Night Silver Woods and the Order of the Dark Moon. The main antagonist of the show is Terrorblade, the demon marauder, who is a feared creature and being in the Dota video game universe. Able to master his inner demons, Terrorblade is a true villain inside and out. And with the goal to unleash chaos upon the world, this character is one our heroes have to look out for. And last but not least, let's talk about one of the most mysterious and intriguing characters in all of Dota, Dragon's Blood. Known as Invoker, the supreme intellectual has powers unmatched by most. Not only is he the smartest man in the Dota 2 universe, but his magical powers on the show have shocked and stunned many viewers. Voiced by Troy Baker, audiences all over the world are excited to see the mysterious character make a comeback in Season 2. Which brings us to the next point. Which characters and heroes will grace our screens in Book 2? Without giving away any spoilers, the first season of Dota, Dragon's Blood did feature a few character deaths. If you haven't binge watched the 8 episodes yet, then we won't name the characters that sadly had to be left behind. But as Season 1 ended with a huge teaser for an upcoming war, it's safe to say many more characters will make their debut in Book 2. And so, while we may have mourned certain deaths and abrupt endings, we hope Dota, Dragon's Blood Season 2 will deliver a greater show and adventure for the excited audiences. But what do you think? Are you excited for Season 2 of Dota Dragon's Blood? Which plotline will Book 2 focus on? We would love to know your thoughts down in the comments below. Thank you for watching. If you liked our video, make sure you hit the like button below the video. And if you are new to our channel, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on our very exciting videos. Goodbye, everyone.